Now on the left hand lane, should I go there yet? No, no. wait until they get beyond the Mazda. Then go across. Pick your moments. Road positioning is everything. And it can't be random, there's got to be a reason for everything you do. And the reason has got to be so you can see and be seen. You can't just move willy nilly right to left in your lane. I mean, yeah, that would help because you're going to at times see your way ahead. But you've got to do it in a manner that allows people to see you. It's like here now, there's no major issue. But as I'm approaching the next set of lights, they are red. I've got a white car about to pull out of Subaru. Which lane is it going to go into? Ask yourself, is it staying in the left lane? Is she going to change her mind when she gets there? Don't know. Right, so they're all still stopping. I'm going to back up a little bit, not go too hard, and hit the brakes. And I've myself stopped. I'm waiting for some prick to hit me up the ass. I'll slow everybody down. I've got that white Camry behind me now. Nice and safe and stopped. So what I'm talking about now is this situation in front now where I'm amongst traffic is my view blocked pretty much by this dark V8 in front and people have got no spatial awareness so if my view is blocked a little bit and hindered the view of people looking at me is also hindered. So the secret is, put yourself in a position where you can see the road ahead, because it'll give other people the far, far better chance of seeing you. There's no reason whatsoever to ever even have a near miss. We're talking about reducing conflict with other road users. Right. Again, is there any reason to drive right up the arse of that Mazda yet? No. Everybody's been there, that's a good reason why not to as well, because you're now going to change and turn right. I'll go out again now. And my, my view is blocked by the white van. So as such, the view of me is blocked by anybody at these junctions. So just drop back a little bit and get a good view of the road. At that point, checking that left shoulder to ease across here, you can have a good look up the inside. your head. Car parked up on my left so this Mazda is going to come out just a little bit. However this car's turning right. Back off. At this point there's nothing on the other side of the road coming towards me so there's nothing wrong with me being right out here. King of the road. I can see miles ahead now. I'm Completely safe. I look in my left mirror there, but you can see it now. That golf. Car's coming towards me. Just move back across a little bit. Again, car coming towards me and indicating right. Just speed up a little bit just to get in the same zone as this Mazda. So you don't pull across on me and then back out here again. As I'm approaching the next set of lights, I'm going to be turning right. I'll give it a good early indicator about now. We'll slow it up. I'm going to watch any of these cars behind if they're going to change and turn right as well. They're all going to go the other way. They're all turning left. All straight on so far. I'll back it off here. And we're good. Pedestrian there on the right. I can't go. I'll get to the middle of the junction. Now what I'm going to do here is just stop and look through the windows and make sure everything's clear. No conflict. Cars parked up on the right. Forcing cars on the left, on the right hand side, coming towards me to come onto the long side of the road a little bit. To get across to the left. Don't hit them head on. Don't even get close to them. Back out again. 
not random. Everything's got to be calculated, risk assessed. Looking into the distance. Where are my danger zones? Still cars coming towards me, not turning right without indicating. Another one coming towards me. Car to my right, I've got a silver golf possibly going to pull out of the on the run on the right. Or a Corolla, whatever it is. Just watch it don't come out. Beyond him now, good. One thing I've got here is a motorbike. And I am in fact king of the road. 